So now we're going to start to animate the rest of these items here. So right when the phone sort of comes in, maybe one frame or two frames before that, I want the heading to fade in. Okay. So I'm going to actually move that heading keyframe to about frame 22 or 23. Right. So you can just click on the keyframe for the heading and then click and drag it. Just drag it all the way to frame 23. So now it's not going to be seen until frame 23. And then what I'm going to do is place it maybe around like frame 35. I'm going to click right there and then I'm going to add a keyframe. So you're going to go insert timeline and then add a keyframe. So now again, I'm going to click back on frame 22. I'm going to select that heading on the stage. And then in my properties, I'm going to change the color effect to alpha, put it to zero. Click on frame 35, select the heading again on the stage change that color effect to alpha and now put the opacity up to 100 and then click anywhere in the center of that duration between the two keyframes and then we're going to add a classic tween to it so go insert classic tween so because that animation goes past our phone, what we're going to do is add another keyframe on the phone layer to where my animation is going to end. So I basically want the whole thing to end around like 65 frames. So on the phone layer, I'm going to select that last keyframe. And then I'm going to click on the 65th keyframe and then go insert timeline keyframe. And I'm going to do the same thing for the heading. Right? So on the heading layer, I'm going to select that last keyframe we added, click on the 65th keyframe, and then go insert timeline keyframe. Right? So what's happening now is phone comes in, stays on the stage, then the heading fades in, stays on the stage for the rest of the duration of the animation. Okay. So now we'll just start to animate the other portions of it, like the subheading and the text and the button. And once you're done, you can save it at this point.